I just have to like really bring it down my neck. I feel like Too Faced. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be comparing the Dermalogica Invisible Defense SPF 30 sunscreen against the Nivea Sun UV Face Anti-Age and Anti-Pigment SPF 50 sunscreen. I've already done my morning skincare routine, so this video I just want to solely dedicate it to sunscreen. Side note, you should be wearing sunscreen, even indoors. The sun is still coming in through the window to the wall. Also, you know, blue light from your computer and stuff, so you really do still need to be wearing sunscreen even though we're indoors. I know that you're indoors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yes, so that is what today's video is about. I've been wanting to film this video ever since I tried the Dermalogica sunscreen in my Dermalogica sunscreen video. So yeah, so I've been wanting to film this video for a couple, like for about a month because you guys saw that video. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure you watch it. If not to see what I mean, then at least for a little giggle because I laughed so much editing that video and watching that video back. I've never laughed more at one of my own videos, I have to say. So yeah, so I've been wanting to do this video since then. After I filmed that video, I was actually using the Dermalogica sunscreen for like, I wanna say like five-ish days just because I thought to myself, you know, first impressions, things can change, your opinion changes all the time, Alice, so maybe give the sunscreen another shot, maybe put on less, maybe instead of just dusting it on your face and leaving it there, rub it in, you know, so I was just trying out different methods, different things, but the result was always exactly the same, so then I had to go out and buy my Nivea sunscreen. So this video is to compare the two just to show you that what is more expensive isn't necessarily what is best and I think in case if you watched my Dermalogica video and you were just like oh this girl is overreacting by saying that her Nivea sunscreen is 10 million times better I was not over exaggerating and you will see that in this video. So yes so without further ado let's get into the video. So before we get started, just a time check. I kind of feel like I like to just check in with you guys so we can see what the time is together. So it's 10.07 on Saturday morning. Okay, so I think in order to test this, I'm just gonna kind of divide my face with an imaginary line down the middle. And on one side, I'm gonna have my Dermalogica and on the other side, I'm gonna have my Nivea. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with my Dermalogica sunscreen. If you don't know, this Invisible Physical Defense sunscreen is broad spectrum and it's SPF 30. This is supposed to be an invisible weightless defense that blends easily on skin featuring ultra sheer zinc oxide. And you're supposed to apply liberally on your face and neck 30 minutes before sun exposure. Someone did comment on my Dermalogica sunscreen video that this is like an organic sunscreen, which is something that I did not know about this Dermalogica sunscreen. And she was saying that sometimes because organic sunscreens are made in a particular way, that's why sometimes they leave a kind of gray residue, whatever. So I guess that can kind of explain why this was trash, but <laughs> let me not get ahead of myself. This is a lot of sunscreen by the way, guys. Yeah, I put on way too much sunscreen on my hand, so I'm like, <laughs> literally have so much sunscreen. What am I gonna do with it? Let me just also put it on my body. Yeah, do you know what, I'm gonna, I've put on way too much, so I'm just gonna also put this on my body. Ooh, the fascinating thing is that it actually rubs in quite well, like on the body. So I don't know why it's like acting brand new on my face. Like, what is that about? Interesting. That is very interesting. It like, rubs in so much better on the body um, that is very peculiar so maybe i'll just use this as a body sunscreen wow i was not expecting that also i put on way too much on my face but whatever i'll put on the same amount of my nivea sunscreen okay so let's rub in and because i can't take it to the other side i just have to like really bring it yeah, my neck. I feel like Too Faced. So like it rubs in quite well on the neck. Oh no, my neck's gone a bit purple. I think I also put on way too much on my face, but I'm gonna put on the same amount of the uh, Nivea. Mm. 
I'm like, I put on way too much now on my face. I'm gonna need to like rub this in for ages. Yeah, I put on way too much. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna rub that in. Wow. Oh my god. It just takes so long to rub in. I'm just like, what the actual. But let me not lose my cool. Still rubbing it in. Okay, I literally look like a cyborg. <laughs> anyway, now I'm gonna use my Nivea sunscreen. So this is a moisturizing face sunscreen, ideal for everyday use. The formula with Q10 helps prevent the appearance of sun-induced fine lines, wrinkles, and pigment spots, which is definitely a plus, especially if you do have like hyperpigmentation or you're more prone to hyperpigmentation. And I think that is really great. This ultra spectrum protection helps protect from UVA, UVB induced skin damage and high energy visible light, aka blue light effects, such as premature skin aging. So this actually almost does the exact same as this because this Dermalogica sunscreen is also good to help prevent against blue light damage. So I'm now even more like, I didn't even know that this specifically helped against blue light damage. I don't know, I don't know. Listen guys, I don't know. Okay. I did put on a lot. It's like even just already in texture, like the Nivea is just so much thinner. I've put on way too much sunscreen, first of all. I'm like wasting my sunscreen. But you see the difference already. This like rubs in like clear. This whole thing is such a disaster. This was supposed to be an experiment, but I've just put on way too much. Anyway. Okay, so now, let's rub this in. On this side. Bearing in mind, I did actually put on quite a lot. But you see, like, I'm not having to rub it in so much. It's already, like, fading straight away, whereas this is still kind of tingy, but it's starting to fade a bit. I think, yes, I am having to rub it in a lot, but that's just because I literally put on so much sunscreen. But look, look, after like two minutes of rubbing, I was rubbing this for ages. And you can see a difference. Like this side is more like brown, whereas this side is very like, it's not as like brown as this side is. Let me just smush that all in. So you, look, a difference. My hairline is not gray. Like look at this, the difference. The difference, a gray eyebrow, not gray. Gray hairline, that stays gray. So guys, <laughs> so there we have it. So guys, so this is the finished result after using both sunscreens. Now, I do have to admit that the Dermalogica sunscreen, when it eventually decides to rub itself in, the finish of it is absolutely flawless. Like, I really do like it. It makes my face look really glowy, really like clean looking. Like, it does have a really nice finish and that I can admit. However, and also, you know, I have the same finish with the Nivea sunscreen. I kind of feel like I look a bit richer, like a bit more glowy, a bit more brown with the Nivea sunscreen. Like when I look to the side, this is more of like a natural finish, whereas this side is a bit more like glowy and a bit more dewy. And I think personally for me, I do prefer a glowy, dewy, borderline sweaty look. So I think that's why I prefer the finish of the Nivea. But to be honest, they kind they look, they have a very similar finish. But if you consider the time it's taken for me to get the same similar finish and the price, so what it's cost me both financially and in time to achieve kind of a similar look, I just feel like why spend 49 pounds on something that you can spend six pounds on, 7.99 on? I think I've seen this 
for $8.99 at the most expensive that I've seen this Nivea sunscreen. And look, grey. We're still grey over here. Like, it's still not even fully rubbed in. Whereas this side is absolutely flawless. And I just feel like, you know, there is my verdict. <laughs> So guys, that is my video comparing the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense Sunscreen against the Nivea Sun UV Face Anti-Age and Anti-Pigment Sunscreen. I mean, SPF 50, SPF 30, but also I feel like because you get a higher SPF protection with the Nivea Sunscreen, it's like you're paying less for more, whereas with the Dermalogica sunscreen, you're paying more for less, or you're paying more for more hassle. I don't know, however you want to see it. Um, I'm gonna quickly put on my lip balm. In one of my videos, I was talking about this fresh lip balm sample, how I wouldn't buy it just because whatever dumb reason I gave. But guys, I actually bought this lip balm and it is the bee's knees, like, We sing from the rooftops every morning. I love this stuff. It's so good. I love that it is SPF 15. I think that's just such a big thing for me. And before I always just used to make do with sunscreen on my lips, but there's something a bit, what's the word? There's something just a bit more normal about putting on a lip balm instead of sunscreen on your lips and i'm all for it my lips feel absolutely amazing i can see myself becoming a lip person because that was another thing i said that i'm not actually a lip person but i can really see myself becoming a lip person just thanks to this lip balm alone this lip balm is 19 pound 50 so it is a bit pricey but fresh are always 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 having some kind of like offer on um yeah i love it it's like got such a natural kind of finish and it makes my lips look kind of rosy like very pink oh, i love pink and like the whole setup it's like brown white beige i'm just like ooh, hey girl i'm really into it anyway let me go <laughs> i'm just like rambling at this point um yes okay so that is this video i hope you guys liked it let me know what your thoughts are on the sunscreen have you tried the dermalogica sunscreen have you tried the nivea sunscreen what is your favorite brand of sunscreen full stop um are you even wearing sunscreen because i actually feel like you should be wearing i don't feel like you should be wearing sunscreen especially if you are black don't believe that black people don't need sunscreen that is just a complete myth we also need to take care of our skins of our skins of our skin if you have any sunscreen recommendations, make sure you let me know in the comments. I have received a couple of sunscreen recommendations already, but I'd love to know what sunscreens you guys are using, especially if you're dark skinned. But yeah, let me know um, the sunscreens that you guys are using. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And in the meantime, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.